Hello peeps, welcome back to the Big Deck Player Special, Curse of Naxxramas. I am Matt Sparks, and today we are furthering our adventure through the military quarter on heroic difficulty. Last episode, we saw the demise of Instructor Resuvius. Today, we are hoping that Gothic the Harvester will follow suit. Look. If you give up now, I will tell Gothic not to turn you into a disembodied soul. This guy's going to be tough. I think this guy was... Out of the three bosses in this wing, I think he was the most difficult on the normal difficulty. So I imagine he's going to be even more difficult on Heroic. Hero power is Harvest... He draws a card and gains a mana crystal, and that mana crystal can be used that turn as well, which is uh, overpowered, I think, is the term that most people would probably use for that. <laughs> uh, so he ramps up really quickly, uh, and it's quite difficult to uh, counter that. But, on the other hand, it does mean that he gains cards very quickly. So... What the idea is, at least with the deck that I'm going to be using, uh, is to fatigue him. How well that's going to work, I'm not entirely sure. But this is auto cast, as far as I'm aware. So he has to, he has to use that each turn. So let's give it a try. Uther versus Gothic, the Harvester. My minions never truly die. I will fight with honor. Okay, so we've got the wild pyromancer. I don't really want the sludge belcher right now. Uh, I kind of... I'm going to keep the outdoor peacekeeper. Uh, just because it's uh, something I can use fairly early. But I don't like this uh, much at all. Oh, but we do get the equality, so we've got the Wild Paramancer equality combo, which we will need. Hopefully we won't need it by turn four, but Bring out um, your dead. it's uh, it's a possibility. Kill my minions if you like. Their souls oh, will we need to get rid of that. Visit. ASAP. And I really don't have anything to do right now. This guy's gonna get buffed. I'll be back. Um. All right, let's. I'll go peacekeeper this guy. Job's done. And hope that we can trade this guy for this guy next turn. What? No, we can't. Right, well we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wild pyromancer inequality, I think. That's my initial reaction anyway, let's just see. We could true silver champion kill this guy. That'll do two damage to this, so that dies. This will go down to two, this will go down to two. Uh I take six damage. I trade him for him. Oh, I don't take six damage because I'll heal for two first. I'll take four damage. But I will have the true silver champion in my hand then for next turn. And I can use this combo later on. I think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. For justice! And hope that it pays off. Okay. That has reduced the amount of damage I'm gonna be taking. Ugh. I not that came along. <laughs> okay. Turn five. 
we could oh, for one more mana. Like a consecration. Do, do you know what? I think I'm just gonna use my um wild pyromancer in a quality combo this turn. Cause I really don't want this guy doing damage to me. It'll kill off this one. And I'll get two more from these. I'll get two more from these. Uh which I can then use the Sun Fury Protector on next turn and heal myself up. Alright, well Pyromancers, you're going out. Like to play with fire. And then we have quality. He takes three damage from the For justice. horse thing. I'm going to kill myself up with the Two points of health. Pass the turn. Right. Let's see what he's going to do. Okay. Kind of expected that. Back. Kind of expected that. Okay. Let's see. Well, I could give this four attack and ten health, and then I can kill that off, uh, and then heal myself. Kind of want to get rid of this guy. I guess if I put my Sunwalker out, they. We'll both have to go into it, but I won't be able to heal myself. Or I could some fury protect the both the pair of them uh, and heal myself. I think I'm going to have to heal myself because I'm getting quite low, and these two are going to constantly do damage to me. Shields up! Man, I really need the extra health right now. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I can use some Orker or Blessing of Kings next turn if I really want to. He's down to 14 cards. Uh, stays alive. And can hopefully, get rid of, or at least contribute to getting rid of something else. Uh, really? This is it. Damn that corruption! That seems so overpowered for one cost. This is it. You love my new recipe. Well. Okay. Uh, I think first oh, off, we're going to Aldor Peacekeeper this guy. And uh, we should probably get rid of one of these because we can. Justice shall prevail. <laughs> I'll be back. Uh, and then what? Consecrate? We're getting rid of these three? Yeah, I think I will. Does mean I'm going to get two of them on my side, though. This is it. Which means I'm going to take three damage uh, on my beginning of my next turn. Cards left in his hand. I need some heals. Hey! <laughs> Alright, so first off, uh, let's heal. And then we shall. 
blessing of Kim on this, this guy. We'll put the Sun Fury Protector between these two. Like so. Cannot control. What we do. Really another abomination. And another corruption. Well, this guy's going to die soon anyway. He'll kill that off, he'll kill this off, he'll kill this off. So his board will be clear and I will have a 0 6 and a 0 4, which I can then use Defender of Argus on. Cannot control. Because he'll die in a second and then I can just put My seal this guy for here. Argus. Might as well get Reporting one of these future. guys out. We'll hit him for one, because why not? He dies, and I have two 1 5 taunts. It's not terrible. Ride I could use another heal, though. Shields up. Yeah, that's not good. Another corruption. How many of those corruptions do you have? Because it seems to me like you might be cheating. You do you only have six cards left in your deck? Um, I cannot kill this guy. To battle. I'm just going to run this guy into it. It's, it's kind of excess requirements. <laughs> I should run the other guy into him because I forgot what he had corruption on him. That was silly. Oh man. Okay, well I'm going to take three damage. When this guy, well, when these two guys die. But, I only need to do one damage to him. So I can do one damage to him. I need to do two damage to him. And then four damage to him. Into the breach! Uh, this is going to suck. Done. Yep, that sucked. I really need my Guardian of Kings right now. Bring out your dead. For uh, hey! some taunts. Yeah, yeah, taunt. Okay, good. Uh, okay, we need to get rid of this guy. So we are going to uh, hit him. Hit him. Do I want to kill him with this? Or do I want to hit him with this? Well, we've got to get the... We've got to get that out. Uh, we might as well get one of these out. Um, I need the health. I'm... I don't know if this was the best idea. I really need the extra little bit of health right now. Right, he's finally she out of up. cards. So we can start finally start working on fatiguing him now, which is awesome. But we need to draw a card because this guy is going to continue doing damage to me. My shield for Pump him up a bit so we can actually start doing a bit of damage with him. Reporting for duty. Um, he's got one card left in his hand, which could be anything really. So I'm gonna I'll do one damage to you with that, and I'll do one damage to you with that. And hit him in the face for five. Job's done. Pass the turn. There we go. He's going to take one damage from that, and then he's going to take two damage from his using his hero power. Uh, okay. 
Brilliant. Brilliant. We're a bit late to the party there, Nerubian Egg. Okay, well... We'll kill him off so that he doesn't keep doing damage to me. That would suck. And now it's a matter of time. I think we're pretty safe now. Because he can't... Uh, he can't do anything. He's just going to die now. So we didn't really need the health anyway. So there we go. That is Gothic the Harvester. It's a tough old fight. It is a tough old fight. You have to be a little bit more careful with your traits. You have to hope that you get some heal cards in your in your deck as you're drawing. Because uh, you're going to need them. I got a bit lucky there towards the end, I think, uh, with pulling the um, true silver champion. I think I might have had serious issues if I hadn't have done that. So, that was pretty lucky. Uh, I've had about five or six attempts to defeat him. Because uh, uh, sometimes you just get overwhelmed, and if you don't get the right cards in your hand, then you're a bit stuck. But this deck works, as you've just seen. So I should put a link in the description, taking you uh, to where the deck is, and you can take a look at it a bit more. Um, it's not too expensive if you don't have all the rare cards and stuff. It's not too expensive to craft, uh, less than the cost of a legendary. So it's not too expensive. And uh, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time.